In this video, I'll be talking about the why behind, the reason for when one multiplies or divides positive and or negative numbers. In the previous set of videos, I talked about it for when you add or subtract. In this set of videos, I'll be talking about when you multiply and or divide. Next, I'd like to give my outline so that you will know what to expect and in what order. First, I'll be talking about repeating addition as a definition of multiplication. Then I'll be talking about the case when you have positive integers, how you can expand that to non-integers, the case of positive times negative, negative times positive, negative times negative, how you can expand the roles to the division, and lastly, a summary. Repeating addition. At least for positive integers, the commonly used definition for multiplication is repeating addition. So what are positive integers? These are also known as counting numbers because these are the numbers you normally count with. One, two, three, four, five, and so on. So it means at least for those numbers, that is a commonly used definition. So for example, four times five equals five plus five plus five plus five. So you can see that there are four fives. And there's a lot of addition, repeating. So that's why it's repeating addition. For 8 times 3, that is 3 plus 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 3. Plus three, plus three. So there are 8 threes. And there's a lot of adding here. In a general sense, using algebra, A times B. So A is one number, and B is yet another number. And the form AB is saying A times B. And that is B plus B plus B plus B plus B, A times. Let's talk about the case when you multiply two positive integers together. For example, 3 times 5. So both 3 and 5 are positive integers, equals 5 plus 5 plus 5, which is equal to 15. And you may want to note that 15 is positive. All the numbers I'm adding are positive, and I'm using addition. And based on the previous set of videos that I did, it should be positive, the answer, because positive plus positive will be positive. So therefore, 5 plus 5 plus 5 must be positive because this is equivalent to 3 times 5. 3 times 5 must be positive. As ever, positive integers will follow the same pattern, the same idea, positive integer times positive integer is equal to positive. And in fact, positive integer times positive integer equals positive integer to be more specific. I would like to show that non-integers will follow the rules of integers. For example, I would like to show that positive times positive is equal to positive whether I'm multiplying two integers together or a non-integer and an integer together or two non-integers together. I'll show three cases, all of positive, but the same idea works when you don't work with solely positive numbers. So the same idea will be the case when I multiply positive times negative. So I'll go over integer times non-integer, non-integer times integer, and lastly, non-integer times non-integer. So integer times non-integer. If 3 times 5 equals 5 plus 5 plus 5, it would make sense for 3 times 4.5 to equal 4.5 plus 4.5 plus 4.5, 4 
were still using repeating addition. It would also make sense for three times pi. Pi, by the way, is about three point one four one five nine two. So it would make sense for three times pi to equal pi plus pi plus pi. Based on the same reasoning, all the numbers I'm adding are positive, and I'm using addition. The answer must be positive, which is the same result we got when we multiplied two positive integers together. Let's now talk about non-integer times integer. Two times five. Is equal to five plus five, so that's repeating addition. We have two fives, which is equal to ten. Three times five is equal to five plus five plus five, so that's three fives, which is equal to fifteen. So two point five. So two point five is between two and three. So two point five. Times five should be in between two times five, which is ten, and three times five, which is fifteen. In fact, you could think of two point five times five as five plus five, so that's one five two fives plus a half five, so that's one five two fives and two and a half fives, which is equal to twelve point five. Which is indeed between ten and fifteen, since two point five times five is between two times five and three times five, and since two times five and three times five are positive, then two point five times five must be positive as well. If you have two numbers that are positive. And you have a third number that you know is between those two numbers. That third number must be positive as well. Let's now talk about non-integer times non-integer. So we can already find what two times five point seven is. It is five point seven plus five point seven. So we are using repeating addition, and we have two five point sevens, and that is eleven point four. We can also figure out three times five point seven. That is five point seven plus five point seven plus five point seven. So that's three five point sevens, and that is equal to seventeen point one. So two point three. So two point three is between two and three. So two point three times five point seven should be in between. Two times five point seven, which is eleven point four, and three times five point seven, which is seventeen point one. In fact, you could think of two point three times five point seven as five point seven plus five point seven. So that's two five point sevens already, plus three over ten times five point seven. So that's an additional point three of five point seven. For a total of two point three of five point seven, which is equal to thirteen point one one, which is indeed between eleven point four and seventeen point one, since two point three times five point seven is between two times five point seven and three times five point seven, and since two times five point seven and three times five point seven are positive, then two. Point three times five point seven must be positive as well. Basically, if you have two numbers and you know both of them are positive, and you have a third number and you know it's between those two numbers, then you know right off the, the bat that that third number is positive as well. The next video still talks about multiplying, but it covers the cases. Positive and negative, negative and positive, and negative and negative. Attached is a link here below that you can click.